understand how light is produced, we need to think at the atomic level. Orbiting the center or nucleus of an atom are the electrons. The electrons orbit at certain distances from the nucleus. If an electron gains energy, it can jump or move to a higher orbit. But it doesn't stay at this new position long and moves back to its original orbit. When this happens, the electron releases the energy it had absorbed. This energy is released as a photon. This photon, or particle of light, is the energy released when the electron moves back to a lower energy level or orbit. So it is the movement of electrons back and forth between energy levels that produces the photons of light. If we turn on a light, electrical energy goes into the filament of the bulb. This causes the atoms in the filament to vibrate. Energy causes the electrons of those atoms to move back and forth to different energy levels, producing photons of energy, which we see as light. A stream of photons travels as waves of vibrating electric and magnetic fields. A field can exert a force on another object without touching that object. A force is a push or a pull. Think of a magnet interacting with a paper clip. The paper clip is pulled towards the magnet without touching. The vibrating electric and magnetic fields make light a part of the electromagnetic spectrum. These waves can travel through the emptiness of space as a form of radiation. They travel as invisible transverse waves. Visible light only makes up a very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Light travels as waves. Light also behaves like a particle. Because light appears to have the properties of both particles and waves, scientists refer to it as the particle wave theory of light.